A friend of mine sent me something. What's this? A friend of mine reached out to me. He said, I like what you're doing with the program. <laughs> Teaching kids how to buy houses. <laughs> now that's smart. A lot of kids are going to be making mistakes. A program they're not going to be able to sink their teeth into. I've won. It's game over, guys. Damn. Yo, we got the boss in the house. John Taffer himself is a scuffed realtor fan. John Taffer. I'm a fan of the scuffed realtor. This guy's out here in Rhode Island. He's chunky. He's got half a mustache. He's teaching kids how to buy houses. He's telling them to not make mistakes. Kind of things like I do. <laughs> Trying to protect people. You got a legacy business. And you're here getting drunk! Um, <laughs> that's all. So that's me and Mastriano. Awesome. So, yeah, no, we, uh... So, John... John, if you're out there, hey, buddy, we're, we're, we're much appreciated. This is going to go on the wall above my child's, uh, my, my, in my kid's room. Thank you. Um, Big fans. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're teaching nine women in a bunch of, in a bunch of 17-year-old <laughs> stoner, uh, stoner <laughs> athletes how to buy houses. No, I'm kidding. Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. We're flying down to 4223 Leisure Lakes, Chipley, Florida. Chipley, Florida. I like the ring of that. Hey, honey, you ever hear of this place called Chipley, Florida? It's got a nice name. It's probably a good place to live. <laughs> a little stupid logic there. Oh, John, you're the stupidest man I've ever met. All right, nice. Sweet. Ocean blue. Hmm. Seaside. Coastal living. Oars. Nautical. Nautical. Sunflowers. Turtles. Sea turtles. Sailing knots. <laughs> Sailing knots. Nautil Nautilus. Oh, Brain injuries. The, uh, the, uh, sex sextants. Sextants. Yeah, yeah. Sex with Mia Mastriani. I mean, I never thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> this is really funny because there's this, it just in the, in, more in the decor, but it's like, like super specific. So it's all like Atlantic blue, right? And then they keep integrating this like papacala, but the papacala, oddly enough, is sunflower. And I can get behind that tonight. Cause I'm the yellow man. I'm je the jello man, but watch this. This is kind of funny. They put sunflowers, right? And then this cow picture. And then this country chair right here. This ladder back country chair, right? And then we got more ocean. Sunflowers. Sunflowers. So it's like, it's like where the farm meets the ocean, but it's in Florida. So they call it surf and turf. Yeah, yeah, this is the surf and turf house. <laughs> that's, yes, that's exactly right. Fish tails in. A, sea, a, a ship's wheel. Oh. Another pop of color. Just show me one more country item that doesn't fit, please, God. What's it say? To golf or not to golf? What a silly question. <laughs> I like that. How much was that? 1100 That's a good deal. The other one I was looking at was over 10000 John. John S. John S. John S. I was looking at a hand-painted wooden sign, but I don't got $15,000 to spend. I'm trying to save for my kid's high school fund. This is like chicken wire fencing. It's very Florida. I like I like the actual layout. The I like the covered outdoor area, the walk around, the wraparound porch. Um, it does have like a really good beach house feel. It isn't an HOA. I can tell that right. Well, it's in Leisure Lakes. Wow, that's crazy. Is that man-made lake? Is that what this is? It's a big man-made lake. It's made by aliens. The things people do in Florida, totally insane. Like what the hell did Walt Disney learn how to do <clears throat> Disneyland from a contractor in Florida, I swear. He didn't know anything. He was just a cartoonist. Then he went down there and they were like, oh yeah, man, I built a fantasy factory. And why is this, why is there a lake crashing on an asphalt shore? <laughs> <laughs> like that's it, crazy. It looks like an AI generated like a <clears throat> yeah. dystopian beach. Like yeah, you, oh, you should put the blanket down on the asphalt and take in some rays. What a nice night. Jesus. And you can wade out to your knees in the sewer rats. <laughs> I'm sure there's nothing disgusting in the uh, Leisure Lakes Lake. 6900 square feet, 1.6. I like in Texas they have their own like large har.com. Just Texas properties have har.com. It is. It's kind of cool. Texas is like we don't need realtor around here. We're good people. We're in the heartland of America. This is Pinnacle at Champion Center. That looks like such like a, a dickhead elitist yeah. place to live. Pinnacle at Champion Center. Because I'm a champion. And you're not, Rick. And you'll never be. And your loser son. Yeah. And your ugly wife. Perfect house. At Legends Only. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just like... Legends Only at Pinnacle at Champion Center. Yeah, yeah. Everybody here is a champion. Like 80s bully shit. Yeah, 80s yeah, yeah. Get out of here, poor kid. Nice rusty bike, you piece of shit. Isn't your dad have cancer? <laughs> hey, look, it's the kid with the bald mom. <laughs> what the fuck? I live over at Pinnacle at Champion's Place. What's up with that ugly... That disgustingly ugly wife of yours. <laughs> Let's get out of here, babe. He's just got like a blonde bitch, babe. 
And he looks like every uh, every eighties dick. Yeah, this house this house is sixty nine hundred square feet for a million nine. Okay, so man, what's going on with Champion Center? It's like the it's starting to fall apart or something. Oh, cool. I like this. Great. Sixty nine hundred square feet of re of redo. Nice glass blocks. Those are really in style right now. Those are doing great. Good job. I'm glad you did. And so is 12 by 12 tile. I'm glad you did everything in it. Nice commercial builder grade fucking uh, nice, cool. Walk-in closet. Big dumb outdoor pool with a pile of rocks that was supposed to be a waterfall. You're stupid enough to believe that that's cool. Oh, a putting green. Awesome. So I can work on my short game. A koi pond that's filthy and not maintained. That looks good, dude. That looks great there. I was going to catch fucking... What's the, what's the one I'm looking for? The thing you would get if you drank water, like still sitting water. Oh, um... Botulism? Oh. HPV. That's uh, it. HPV. That's what it is. Human papillomavirus. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, nice scum pond, nice pool table. I like how they put this. This is a new room. Floor to ceiling windows aren't code either. I don't think you can run a wall on an exterior of a house without having an electrical outlet every eight feet, I believe. And I don't think this is up to code. I like it, but this is like a real flex. So this must have been a second owner thing. That's that's cool. I like the floor to ceiling glass. Maybe the guy owned a glass company. He's just a dipshit. But uh, now this is a double edged sword. This, this is kind of a weird house. It's a million six, which is not that bad for a 6,900 square foot structure. The house is probably built like shit, but it needs every surface redone. Every cabinet needs a kitchen flooring. The windows are okay. It needs exterior paint. It needs some updating, some styles. This, this thing needs to be ripped out. This whole whatever the hell you were thinking back here unless it's functional which i doubt it it needs a lot of updating but the house kind of, the house kind of sucks um but it's a million six batavia illinois 275 contingent nice piece american american bungalow something you can sink your teeth into <laughs> houses front porches the old way back in the day they'd sit out here and drink sweet tea on the porch until 2 a.m sweet tea martini you take two parts simple syrup. two parts pinnacle vodka <laughs> Ciroc. Ciroc. The good folks. Puff Daddy over at... I wonder what John Taffer would when, when, when he finds out that Puff Daddy's been raping Usher this whole time. I put my name on that product! Premium spirits. Puff Daddy slept with Usher? What? What? Puff Daddy's camp? What? Who, who allowed this? Yeah, who allowed this? I'm putting my name out there. Me and Mastriani's flipping bottles, spinning them around. Vic Vegas is back there cooking. Burgers to down with these Ciroc drinks and Puff Daddy's out there raping Justin Bieber for, for, with, uh, who's the, Clive Davis. <laughs> Damn. Uh, great house, though. This is a really good bungalow, man. Good condition. Uh, original woodwork. You take a, get some microfiber cloths. You, clean, you give them a light sanding. You take all those back to perfect. Look up what to do there. Cleaning and then refinishing. A light, easy. You might even be able to use, like, like restore a finish on it. It's beautiful, man. I love this house. This is a great piece. The only note about bungalows, just so you know, I love them a lot. That you cannot, it's hard to change the floor, uh, the floor plan on these things. The framing of these things doesn't allow for a lot of like modular living. Just keep that in mind. That's why the, that's why sometimes there's some houses I like a lot. Sometimes I don't, I love bungalows, but you kind of think it's kind of like they are what they are. I like the fact that they just put a wood stove up here. And good for them. Nice mature landscaping. Really nicely done. Um, you should skirt a lot of these to your show. Really nice, really nice landscaping. Love this room. I uh, I love this shit. You could smoke weed out there. You could f if you could be ninety and flash the road. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Just yeah, like. Yeah. Just tip. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. <laughs> you know, the stuff it says it just says something insane on your chest. Yeah, this is nice. Kitchen's gonna need a little bit of a reconfiguring. And the first person you're gonna call here is your plumber and you're gonna have him just relocate everything for, to perfection. I would split, don't don't use this. I would use a uh, a cooktop and a double oven to save this, the need. You might be able to, you might, it might, always remember that. If you don't know what to do in a kitchen layout and you're like, ah, I'm racking your head on where the fuck to put, you, you're gonna run into this problem. What's that? Where, you're gonna, where to put the stove in your house. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be like, oh, where do I put it? You can split the, the unit into a cooktop and a and an oven, a wall oven. Okay. Yeah, I that see that sometimes another solves yeah. a, sometimes that f solves a problem in your logic. Okay. All right. So, uh, great, great house. Love this. Love the pantry. Put your groceries in there. Your handgun, bicycle, playing cards. Look at that nice, nice upstairs. Uh, really great. Really sold for two two twenty seven and 07. They only want two seventy four for it now. Look at the nice people in Batavia, Illinois. Around here, they they'd ask the uh, six ninety nine for it. 
and you'd be drying it. You'd be uh, the name of the guy you'd be buying it off. His name would be Joe Dillo. Joe Dillo. Dillo. D I L L O. Dillo. Joe Dillo. Joe Dillo. Six nine nine zero 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 is the asking. Thank you, Joe Dillo. Yeah, okay. But uh, nice. Love it all around. Yo, Chris and Nick. Love from Australia. This is my first home buy before I watched you. Added a new vanity, repaired the deck, and got <laughs> molested by building inspector for a new roof. Yeah. I'm now renting it. Nice. Good for you, man. You're renting it. Hey, good for you. Uh, I actually I like the look of it. It was built in the 30s. So this fella bought this house. Now he's renting it out. Good for you, buddy. Walk out. Could have did a hard skate patio here. Nice piece of property. It's got a good... Good look to it. It has curb appeal. It's quaint. Looks like it has a high bedroom count. Things that are going to equal a lot more rental opportunities for you. Bedroom count. Um, all right. Yeah, nice piece. This is built. I like these. Uh, these. I, I, this is like a, a feature that I hope we build back. We we bring back. Putting a, a window over the door to so it's certain applications, it works perfect. They used to do it a lot where these are, they used to let in airflow. I'm sure there was a better function that I don't know about, but I hope we get back to this sometimes. Good windows, good layout, good deck, good photography from your uh, your realtor too. So whoever did that, but glad you're renting it out. I'm sure it was, if it was decorated, it would, would have been decorated nicely. Nice piece. Which, oh, you replaced a vanity? New roof too. New roof. Nice. Did you do this setup? Or is it this setup right here you built with the tile? Don't do this again. Next time, don't do this. You know what I'm talking about. You're like, all right, Nick, you got me. But yeah, uniform tile. You rip the tile in half, floor tile. Hey, I'm here. I'm dad. I'm papa. It is what it is. But this is a great piece of property. Good eye when you first bought it. Uh, I love the fact that there's the relief cuts in the uh, the concrete. Um, I don't know. It's just nice. It's got a, it's got a lot of look. The Most of the stuff that I look at in Australia is like total, total... Total shit, dude. But not that one. When you're a person trying to buy a multi, you can buy a single family, fix it up, rent it. If a couple of the cost of rent, you move on. You can keep acquiring a couple of pieces of property here and there. It's a decent living. I mean, are you an ultimate real estate capitalist? No. But that's a nice way to do it, to have yourself a couple of three, four, five, six hundred grand, three times, four times, and you can peel them off and uh, sell them and then go crazy and have midlife crises and shit like that. Or you can be like a 40-year-old, 60-year-old uh, Italian guy who's getting tattoos and stuff like that. Australia. Got 12 pictures. I didn't have enough spice in my camera, so I could only take 11 pictures. Are you mad at me? Oh, it's me, your realtor. Wow, beach house. Looks like a Brad Pitt house that they built in Louisiana. Whoa. Mmm, crazy. Looks like you're the first there. I kind of like that. <laughs> yeah. Looks like you're the only one. Why, why are you the only one on this, in this, in this part of the island? Interesting. Right. How much is it, 9 million? It's always 9 million. Watch this. Oh, 400. Eh, not bad. I like it. It's modern. It's not nice. It's really poorly decorated, but it's a nice view nice layout garbage furniture decent finishes in that bathroom decent look on the siding i think if it was painted a better color it would look better and if it was landscaped it would look better i like it i like it i don't think it's a decent and decent shed roof modern house not bad everything i've ever looked at in australia is uh i know it's bad but it's a modern house you'd have to look up watch here's what you do with this house for you for any of you haters here okay you take that house all right and then you start to slide over the uh the ideas to all right, and then you go like this, like that. You just make that house out of the, into that. Now, um, you can do a cooler landscape, but this is like the image collection kind of stuff. Xeriscaping is waterless gardening, you know, stuff that doesn't require a lot of water. This kind of look, et cetera. Not, not the blocked up, but uh, this sort of stuff. This, the grasses look. I think with that sort of idea, an olive tree or something like that, and then an understory. But that, that sort of look will lend to a house like that if you can get it for a decent enough price. This is the style that I would go with, so. That's all, 1921. Gambrel, Dutch Colonial. These are particularly well-built houses, these these jams here. My father-in-law has one of these. Really well-built. Original bath there, keep that. Good backyard, detached garage. Tree house for the kitty doos. Uh, good shape, good condition. All of you who have um, like space like this in your house, finding cabinets on the side of the road or kitchen cabinets on Facebook Marketplace and shelving and just sticking them up so you have places to put shit. It's a cheap freebie. I do it all. I, I've done it like in almost every project. Finding cabinet, like that one right there. Those are lockers from a, like a fucking boat club that I bought. But I paid 50 bucks for those cabinets. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Anywho, hardwoods throughout. Nice turtle tank. I'm growing rats. Come on in, I'm growing rats. <laughs> Hi. This one's name is, what's your mom again's name? What's your mom's name again? Fran. 
Bran? Yeah, that's her name. The person names the rat right in front of you <laughs> as your mom. <laughs> They're like this. Hi, you want to come on in? You want to see me growing rats? What's your mom's name again? I'm like, Gail. They're like, yeah, that's its name. Gail. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking psychopath. She was born yesterday. Is she born? She just eats it right in front of you. <laughs> walks downstairs really fast, gets in her car, and leaves. Hey, Nick, can you do an imp impression of a Chinese Walter White that cooks fen and finds genius ways to cut it? I'm going to have to think about that, dude. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> that a, Christ. This is a specific one. You're trying to push me too hard. You're trying to push me too hard. That's a lot. That's a, that's a compound impression. How do you think I can do a compound impression? That's hard to do. Premium spirits. I don't even think there's enough Ciroc on the planet to get me to do that impression. <laughs> Premium spirits. Captain Morgan. <laughs> I'm in the sub I'm going in. <laughs> I'm going in. That's it. That's enough. He always gets really mad when the boss starts like down talking like, hey, stop giving shots away. And she's like, you give shots away all day. And he's like, it's my building. I do what I want. I'm a boss. It still blows me away. Like, being on camera drunk is like a nightmare. Yeah. Like, imagine signing yourself up for a TV show. They install cameras. You think it's okay to get totally cocked that night. Yeah. Or think that's funny. That's like, blows my mind. Um, but something they can 